What's up, everybody? Brothers, sisters, psychonauts, and seekers of truth. It is Ananka, and welcome to my bazaar. Today, I have a Norse legend for you. The title of this legend is The Creation of the First Humans, and comes from the book Viking Spirit by Daniel McCoy. With all that being said, let our story begin. After Odin and his brothers had formed the cosmos from Ymir's corpse and appointed a dwelling place for humans at the center of the visible world, the task of creating the first humans to inhabit that land still remained. One day, not long thereafter, Odin, Vili, and Ve were walking along the beach of the newly raised landmass. They came upon two large and curiously shaped pieces of driftwood that had washed up onto the shore. Odin, with a look of solemn excitement on his face, stopped the other two. This was the moment he had been waiting for. The three gods picked up the two pieces of driftwood and carefully carved them until they had taken on the forms of a human man and woman. But these sculptures, though shapely, were still lifeless. Odin bent down over them and imparted to them the breath of life. The two humans began to waken a little bit, opening their eyelids into slits and taking their first breaths. Then Vili leaned in and gave them wits and emotions. Their eyes opened wider and their muscles began to twitch. Next, it was Vay's turn. He gave the pair speech, hearing, sight, and the final details of their appearance. Now, the former pair of logs became fully awake and aware, and stared at everything around them with a startled wonder. The gods brought them clothes and dressed them. Then, they gave them names. The man they called Ask, and the woman they called Embla. The three divine brothers escorted them to their home in Midgard at the center of the land, ringed by the newly erected wall to protect them from the baleful giants. From them have come all of the humans who have ever inhabited the earth.